Good morning, everybody. This is a very stressful morning. I have about an hour left to clean this place up and because I'm going to have guests today. And in the meantime, in the process, I'm doing things like I'm trying to transform this space. If you notice, all the board games are gone from here. I'm trying to figure out where to put stuff. Um, depend, depending on the ongoing um, refurbishment of the whole building, this whole place might get built over. And that's the reason why I'm not converting it to what I need, but I'm running out of space and I really want to build something where I can put all my camera gear, I can put everything in the right place. So right now I'm trying to make this look like it has a structure to it which is difficult on its own, it's not like, which is difficult on its own, let alone when I don't have time. So yeah, I might just time lapse it. I'm good, I've done it, and it looks cool, and already have Max here. Hello! Where are you? There you are in the background, I hello, can't even hello, see you. Hello, hello. <laughs> so look at the space, set it up. Looking it looks pretty good. Completely different to what it looked like last night. We're going to record Max's podcast. podcast. Yeah. yeah, we've got two guests coming in today to talk to them about their inspirational journeys. Um, and we've got this lovely space to record in. Today on Rebelhead Entrepreneur, it is a pleasure to be joined by Hugh Thomas. Hugh is co-founder and head of marketing at Ugly Drinks, a disruptive and irreverent sparkling water brand infused with natural flavors. In the brand's own words, Ugly isn't dressed up to look pretty, it's unsweet and has nothing to hide. We're kicking off the interviews and we have something really interesting here. Hello. Yeah, so uh, I'm Hugh. I'm the co-founder of this, this product. We're called Ugly. Uh, so what Ugly is, it's a, it's a fruit infused sparkling water. Uh, there's no sugar, no sweetener, no artificial ingredients in the drink. Mm -hmm. We've got two flavors. We've got the lemon and lime, which is this one, and we have grapefruit and pineapple here. Uh, and basically, we, we think you're sweet enough already. And we uh, started the company to give people an alternative to traditional, either sugary or sweet and fizzy drinks. And we're six months old now, or six months in market, and yeah, just trying to fight the good fight, I guess. That's the idea. And now we're going to try it. For the very first <laughs> for, for, time. For the very first time. I'm going for pineapple and grapefruit um, first. Okay. <laughs> that. Why have you, why Stay. you this on top? Um, the main reason is hygiene, so it keeps the top of the lid clean. Okay. Um, so obviously, uh, drinks are stored in warehouses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. And, uh, ones without. That. Yeah. I never think a lot about that. Factory or warehouse. Ugly. Right. This is yeah. it. Let's go. No sugar, I think no this is the world's first vlog. <laughs> Cheers. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Smells delicious. First taste. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's really good. I don't like sweet stuff, so for me, this is really good. Yeah, it's not sweet at all, so there's no sugars and no sweeteners in wow. it. Wow. So it's, it's infused sparkling water. And it's all natural. Mm. That's yeah. so unusual because it smells really sweet. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you're, you're, it would, your brain's probably going, oh, this reminds me of lots of drinks that I've had before, but it's just not, not really. sweet. Because we don't think, need to think it needs to be sweet. I mean, that's, there's a load of reasons why sweetness aren't good. Yeah, I love well, it. Yeah, that's, it's, yeah. And, and as things progress, the more and more we get educated about sugar. Yeah. yeah. Um, why cans, not bottles? Uh, cans are recyclable, so um, not all plastic bottles are. Uh, I think it's about 70% of cans in the UK are fully mm -hmm. recycled now, and hopefully wow. that gets to close to 100%. Mm. And then, I don't know, you get that cold can feeling yeah, and yes. that ring pool feel that yeah. you... Uh, so where can you get them. these? You need to so, buy them uh, online? Or? Yeah, we're look, we do have a web shop, so uglydrinks.com, uh -huh. you can go on there. Um, I can I can create a uh, a code for your vlog if you want. Oh, um, that's great! Twenty percent off, and then uh, we're sold in right now in, in lots of shops in London. So like Whole Foods, Planet Organic, Selfridges, There's Nature Intended, Vital Ingredient, and Salad Chain, and then lots of corner shops and gyms and delis, and then hopefully, amazing, cool. hopefully some more places soon as well. That's great! Do we put these in the fridge? Yeah, yeah. Go for it. You, you keep these. Oh, these are all for you. Well, anyway. Cheers. Wow, that's <laughs>
Max, when will people be able to hear Hugh? So this particular podcast is going in the conveyor belt of content, so we'll actually be out in a month or so. Uh Um, But as soon as it is, we can't wait to share you because this man was amazing. (laughs) Nice to meet you. Have a great day. (laughs) <laughs> we are joined today by Mr. Daniel Priestley, a multi-award winning global entrepreneur, best-selling author and international speaker. Daniel launched his first company at age 21, which became a multi-million dollar business in under three years. He has since built and sold businesses in Australia, Singapore and the UK. So some of you guys might remember Max, uh, and we've been talking about doing a joint venture and having this uh, recording session in the apartment. And I told you guys back then that everything's all like pieces of the puzzle fall together. And you might know about two, maybe two and a half of my virtual ventures in music, in video making, in DJing, all the things. And what I haven't talked to you about is the startup that I'm building. And it's been going on for many, many, many years. And I've been just, just, I've been trying to find my way with it. And recently I've, I've gained new momentum. And right now, one of the guests of Rebel Head Entrepreneurs is Daniel Priestley. If you don't know who he is, look him up or listen to Rebel Head Entrepreneurs podcast. Basically, I wanted to thank you very much because you gave a kick in my butt with cool. this, um, <laughs> with this, this thing that you just, just did. And you never know who you run into, even if they're not in your domain, they're not in your business, just, just having relationships and, and good connections that, that always helps. I think this is what you've been talking about as well. Seeing, I look forward to seeing it. But you have to check out Mr. Daniel Priestley's work. Yeah. Um, three incredible chat. books. Yeah, it was a great chat we just had. And yeah, definitely check out the Rebel Head Entrepreneurs podcast with Daniel Priestley. It's all about the value that this man has brought. Um, so you must check it out. And it was really nice because, you know, that my, my, my vlog is called Journey to My Dreams. And basically, it's documenting that journey of building all these ventures and getting there, not just showcasing someone who's done it, but showing the process right. of, of documenting, be, the process. documenting the process, being insecure, having all those questions and going for it, going for opportunities and, and doing like things that you would never have thought that you're going to do. Yeah. What advice would you give to anyone who wants to journey to their dreams on Meza's vlog, who's watching him um, progress? So the, the first piece of advice I'd say is just uh, don't put it too far out there. Um, we're living in a phenomenal time. We really are. Like the, the dream is actually now and the more you get present um, with just the incredible opportunity that's going on at the moment with entrepreneurship and, and the way the world's changing, the more you will eventually hit uh, a life that you previously thought was a dream. So um, I find a lot of people, they think, uh, you know, happiness lives out there, happiness and success lives out there. And actually, um, in many cases, uh, the more you tune into what's going on here, um, as entrepreneurs, we love to project, but the more you tune into what's here, then then you realize, uh, actually, shit, it is a dream. Amen to that. Amen to that. Eckhart told the power of now. Yeah. Oh my God, guys, I have absolutely no idea where today went. And I know that today's episode has been extremely random. And if you didn't like it, I'm extremely sorry. But I just, uh, this was it. For tomorrow, I have a very fun plan. We'll see if I can make it happen. Anyway, until then, see you guys tomorrow. Plan B. I keep on telling you guys, have a plan B. Un ticket, s'il vous plaît. I actually had a good night's sleep, which is great. Haven't had that in days. Feeling energetic, up for the ride, and going to edit all the way through if I have. <laughs> <laughs>